Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Super Mario Land 2, gold, 6 Golden Coins. Uh, originally, I did the first game, Super Mario Land 1, uh, almost a year ago. It's been quite a while, but this is the second game. It's not quite the same at all. In fact, this is more based around uh, Super Mario World. As you can see, you get the spin. Which you can do only when you're big. And you have to hold down and press A button, which is jump. You can obviously run with B. And if I get in the pipe. Um, 100 coins do not equal one life. Coins are actually used for something else, which I'll show later on. But you can hold shells above your head, or jump on them. I can... There we go. But if you bump into something above, you'll destroy it. For some reason, I don't understand that at all. Oh well. Got a normal Paragoomba there. Easily killed. But you'll want to collect as many coins as possible. And of course, you still got Piranha Plants. You got Breakable Blocks. The Hearts are 1-ups. And Stars... Well, you should know what to start with by now. At the checkpoint, if you happen to die, you'll start there. And of course, if you defeat enough enemies with the star, you get a 1-up. And here we have the Fire Flower, which you get some kind of thing on your head, and then you're able to shoot fireballs. Of course. It'd be wrong to not be able to shoot fireballs in any Mario game. Actually, I don't think there's a Mario game where you cannot shoot fireballs. At least, you know, the platforming kind. And here we have these uh, fireball blocks, which you can only break using fireballs. You'll see them later. On. And here for more coins. Of course. Like I said, collecting coins is very useful later on. And like always, you can use fireballs to kill enemies. So if you come up here, you'll see that there's this goal. Instead of just hitting the door, if you hit that, you're going to secret game. Just like in the uh, original Super Mario Land, if you go up to the top, instead of hitting the normal exit, you'll go into a bonus game and you'll get lives, a carrot, which I'll show if I can get it, and a fire flower. Let's see what we get here. Another fire flower. And yes, I did see that one coming. <laughs> eh, that's kind of pointless. Oh well. Anyway, if you press select... No? I didn't want to go here, but... What button is it? Is it start? No. I'm pretty sure you can... If you hold B, you can look around the map. And there's six different worlds. You got the tree zone, uh, that zone, which I can't remember. Um, this one, I can't remember the name of that either. You got pumpkin zone, Mario zone, and I can't remember that either. But I'm going to do them in all uh, clockwise, starting with this one right here. So let's get to it. Now, there's also secret passageways you can take, but I'm probably not going to get them. I don't know where all, they, all of them are. Because I'm not super smart like that. And, of course, you can always kill most enemies by jumping on them. But I honestly think this is the weirdest Mario game of them all, because you've got enemies like this thing. There's a bee. I think it's a bee. you got frogs and... All sorts of other crap. Not fire flower. And you got that thing. Oh, another checkpoint. Nothing too big. Now I saw that. But most things can either be killed via jumping on their heads or fire flower. You know, that's normal. Come on. Okay, then I gotta go around, because I can't get up there that way. 
That's alright. At least I don't have to walk too far back. Eh. Die. You die too! That was close. Not sure what the point of that is. And of course, if you're small, you can get in there, but... That's only worth three coins. Same with that one. And that one. I usually go with their coins. At least in this level. And we're at the end. Uh, of course, it would be easier if I didn't screw that up. Game. <laughs> Please. Thank you. A lot easier to hit the ending uh, special game here. And this is the other mini game that you can play. It's a uh, little thing where those things that are moving around block your path. And you just gotta hope for the best, really, so. Mushroom. That doesn't downgrade me, does it? Yeah, no, oh my god, it does. That's dumb. Oh well. Anyway, you got this, uh, goo. Which, it's like sticky stuff. You basically keep pressing the A button and you can float in it. And you can infinitely, uh, spin, which I thought was kind of cool. Also, uh, spinning on blocks. Kind of neat. Come here. <laughs> what the fire flower? Up here, I think it's one up. Yep. I are smart again. You just want to hug this right wall. Fireball's really useful here. Don't hit the spikes, of course. Spikes are bad. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, you can't, uh... He's a bomb. Explode when you jump on them. Unfortunately, like the bomb Koopas in the original Super Mario Land, they cannot be killed via fireball. There's a checkpoint. I believe there's actually a secret exit here, too. If I can remember where it is, I'll show it off. Ah! But, like Mario 3, if you lose, happen to lose your power-up, you'll go down to the next stage. Like so. There, Fire Flower. I pretty much hold B the entire time. Really hard to navigate that sometimes. Okay. I believe this is a secret area, but I can't reach it because I don't have the bunny hood. I think. No. Ah, shoot. Screwed that up, but that's alright. There you go, mini game. I'll try and get that every time. Can't guarantee anything, though. What do we got here? Three lives or nothing? Eh, darn. Oh well. Did you go left or right? I think I'm gonna go left. Not really aiming for 100%, just aiming for completion purposes only. I don't want this to drag on too long, honestly. But this is honestly a pretty fun level. And you get the fireball spitting piranha plants from Mario 3. This game takes from a lot of other Mario games, like you got the spin from Mar uh, Mario World, you got Piranha Plants from Mario 3, at least Mario 1 and 3. But it takes a lot of different elements from a lot of different games. Get that one up. Snipe you out of the air, same with you. I'm not sure what they're doing in the air. I'm not sure why fireballs don't bounce off the thing, they just kind of like dissipate on them. It's kind of weird. Oh well. Here's a, uh, the carrot. If you do it right, you can kind of like hover in a straight line, but... It's not really useful. You gotta like run, and you can go long distances too. Highly abusable. But I love this power-up just for the simple fact that you can basically go as long as you can tap. 
And we have another one of these mini games. I want the fire flower again. More extra lives. It's like three of them. Da -da 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 -dun. <laughs> for some reason, I like that music for you know for no apparent reason. Oh well. Anyway, this is the boss level, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. I actually want to show you what the coins do in this game. If you so happen to go to this space right here, you get a level. That's not what I wanted. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I'm not sure what the purpose of this level is. I think it's just to get, like, coins. I could be wrong. I need the fire flower anyway. Okay. I done screwed up. I, I, I did goof, though. There's the star again. I don't believe need annihilates enemies. Or a fire flower. Now, unlike other Mario games, this game does not actually keep score. Oh yeah, three lives off of that. I already got 17 lives, too. But no, this game does not keep score. You got your lives, coins... Number of enemies killed, which is kind of weird. And then time over here. Ooh, hi Goomba. Number of time... Uh, time left in the bottom right corner there. Yeah, there's no score in this game. But that level's over with. For another scrolling level, that's actually kind of short. Anyway, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, 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 back. I didn't want to go here yet. You can't go here. And as you see, this is the door after collecting all six coins, hence six golden coins. You have to collect before getting there. Or getting in there. That's not what I wanted to do though. Okay, if you go in here, this is what I know for sure. You can either pay 30, 50, 200, or 999 coins. And I believe play one of the mini games. This is this one too. It's a, basically a slot machine. And let's just try it all. Try it. Get the carrot. Okay. Now, if you get that, uh, which I think either that means you lose, or uh, not have to do it again to get the fire flower. But, uh, I think either she takes your power away, or you just don't get anything at all. Fire flower, please. Okay, that'll do, whatever. Whatever, I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and do this forever. Anyway. That is all the time I have for this episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time where we go and do the last level of Tree Zone. Like I said, this is not going to be a 100% run, but it will cover everything. So I'll see you guys then.